After eight years, this book is finally done. One more rewrite won't hurt. Welcome to the green room, I'm Ellie Birdie and I'm an addict. I'm addicted to rewriting and it's ruining my life. Considering I've been writing since I was four and have always wanted to be a published writer, you'd think I have a finished book by now. I don't. I have several manuscripts that are in various stages of evolution, but they're not finished. Why? Because it's not good enough yet. It could be better. And you know, I think that mentality is great if you're a beginner or a hobbyist. If you're a beginner, the best way to improve is by pushing yourself to be better. And if you're a hobbyist, you're doing it for yourself. So why not endlessly tinker with your story? It's for your entertainment first, not to be read or published. Those are a bonus if you later pursue that path. For me, one of my goals in life is to traditionally publish a book. And at this point, I'm self-sabotaging with this insistence to endlessly rewrite. I'm not a beginner, but I treat every old draft as if past me was a complete idiot. I think that in any creative pursuit, there are countless moments of self-doubt. As writers or creators, we are very lonely a lot of the time. Our projects are our own, they're personal, they're reflections of ourselves. Even when we share them with others, they don't see what we see. They experience the condensed version of our experience, packed up with a neat little bow. We have to make every creative decision, which is a lot of fun, but it involves trusting our old self. At the start of this year, I started rewriting a book that's very precious to me. It's the first novel I wrote that truly felt like my work with my voice. Back then, I was very proud of it. The people who read it really enjoyed it. Yet I wasn't satisfied. I remember feeling like something was missing, but I couldn't figure out what. I even ended writing basically the same book, but in a different style, with a different narrative structure. And still, something was wrong. Even so, I had a finished book, I liked it well enough, so I got over myself and submitted it to publishers. It got rejected more than 31 times, then I decided to self-publish. I won't sugarcoat it, unless you're rich or have good marketing skills, self-publishing is a road to nowhere. <laughs> I was also struggling with mental health problems at the time, which didn't really help. At some point, I wasn't even finding writing fun anymore. And when you don't have fun doing the one thing you love, everything feels worse. Then COVID started and it basically gave me an excuse to do something new. I ended up learning art for the next four years. Finally, this year, I felt like writing again after four years of only tiny glimmers of motivation here and there. I reread my old work and having such a distance away from it made me see the past mistakes. I wasn't ready to be published yet back then, those 31 plus rejections were justified. While I write young adult fiction, it has literary and experimental overtones. That means it won't be popular because trends don't like experimentalism and it won't win awards because literary snobs hate young adult fiction. Since those are the two reasons a book gets traditionally published, you can see I really make things easy for myself. Still, I love this book. I see potential in it. Even when I wasn't working on it and when I wasn't writing, I kept thinking about it. It lingered on, it haunted me. So I decided to rewrite it, fix all those old mistakes, illustrate it, and try to get it published once again. Out of all my projects, this one felt the closest to being finished, so I knew it could be done quickly. Surprise, surprise, the amount of changes I wanted to make has multiplied. My writing style has also evolved over the four years and is now incompatible with the old one. What does that mean? I'm essentially rewriting the book from the ground up once again. Yep. Is it perfectionism getting in the way? Is it a fear of finishing? Cause then it might never be good enough. Or it could end up like the last time when finishing and putting my work out there led nowhere. It could be self-sabotage. Or self-indulgence, I do like playing around with details no one will ever notice. I have gotten better at that thanks to art, I try to simplify a lot nowadays. Ultimately, even if I like the details, most readers are here for the characters and plot, it's as simple as that. But of course, there's an obvious truth to this whole thing. If I don't finish, then no one will see the details for sure. No one will get to see it at all. And I really feel like I've reached a point where A, I'm tired of my and B, I no longer want to create just for myself, I want to do it to connect with others too. So I'm making this video as a reminder to myself. 
you have gone down this path many times at this point. It will never be good enough. And that's okay. You are not a beginner writer anymore and you're not making silly mistakes all over the place. If you think you know enough about writing to give advice online, then you should know enough to be able to finish this book. Stop looking back to question old choices and keep going forward. You know you can do this, so stop being scared and do it. I hope you enjoyed this video, even if you disagreed with everything I say. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Bye!